an inside look at the Titan Media Browser Cody Skin by Marcel Velt. And make sure you visit Cody.tv for more information. What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a skin on your XBMC setup or your Cody setup. And this skin is called Titan Media Browser by the developer of Marcel Velt. And this uh, version right now is 3.2.66. Now it comes, out, comes with a lot of special uh, skin features. Uh, custom home items, artwork, clear art, CD art, extra fan art, skin widgets, cinema experience, and uh, a lot more. I'm just going to touch basis on a few of them so you can see. As you can see, the icons are very big and easy to use and it's self-explanatory. As I change and uh, switch to an icon, as you can see, the, the background changes as well. Um, it has this overlay on it and and all that so you get the skins and it's very fluid and it's a lot it's fast too so um let's go ahead and go to settings and then go to settings as you can see it has its own skin settings menu so that's always a good thing because you could actually do a lot with it as you can see they got a uh, home screen layout configure shortcuts background settings appearance i mean you could really spend a lot on here if um you would like to so I'm gonna show you a little quick thing you could have two rows or one row and then um, I'm gonna show you that right now so let's go out of it so you can see it's all one row and it's kinda I wouldn't use this like this it's kinda um, pointless I'd like it to have just the two rows or you could just have all in one in home screen so let's go look at that so it's shows up like this more so that's a little neat the the skin widget comes up or whatever you've seen so let's check that out and then what else is there let's choose this one so you can see now this is just looking like the older version that the uh, defaulted skin before and then uh, let's do the vertical so you can see this one's kind of neat it's all in one screen and the background just changes so but a lot of people use this mainly just for the the icons itself which is um, um, really good now if the icons are too big for you you could make it smaller as you can see right here and you could add more right over here if you wanted so it's a lot of customization if um, you're really into that Right now, I'm going to keep it to where uh, it's all regular. And then you can have it show um, the sub menu as soon as you choose one. So let's go ahead and do this. See, so at the bottom, as you can see, the menus show up and you can go to it, which is always a good thing. And then let's go ahead and take that out. And then you could uh, obviously change uh, the display. Of the weather and all that so let's go to config shortcuts you could reset if you mess up or you want it back to re default and then you could edit many menu, menu shortcuts as you can see you could add and change the background and etc and customize the sub menu within the menus itself so I'm not gonna get into that too much and then the background skin which is uh, defaulted to whatever icon you set it at or you could um, set it to whatever um, custom images that you have installed on your um, computer or device or whatever you're using it on so appearance you could have the overlay defaulted or frost as you can see it's changing as I'm changing it let's go back to where it's default oh, look at the nice little winter you could customize it as well or none so I'd like that and then uh, overlay home screen you could do a lot over here I mean Marcel did a very great job integrating a bunch of uh, old older skin and taking from other skins ideas and creating it his own and um, the skin mode if you have the the app or the Plex or Netflix you can use this skin as well and then all that now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check out what the um, 
the views are on this so as you can see let's go ahead and go to add on browser video add-ons and then let's go ahead and check out as you can see I think that's just here it is list big list horizontal showcase panel I mean there's tons if you can't find a single one that you like then I'm not too sure let's go ahead and go back to where the normal one so let's go to Apple um, the trailers look how the, the trail um, the skin look with the metadata it's real simple um, the color is blue and you can actually change that I'll show you that in a minute then it changes this the big list horizontal showcase landscape one single or all together wall detail banners again banners only works with like just the TV shows it's a lot better like that uh, the big panel it's all together in one go in and change that large poster it's every single one which is it changes which is kind of cool big panel fan art that's really big <laughs> they can change it like that as well panel and that's about it I'm gonna check out the other one let's see what the TV shows look like on these so you got this big list horizontal showcase landscape as you can see I'm switching it real quick so you can just see through see what I mean by the the banner is there's a lot better when there's TV shows only for TV shows so it just makes sense than banner lists and then like that as well so that's always cool now let's go ahead and check out um, the way it looks on if there the menus choose one of these let's go ahead and choose this one big list landscape so you can see um, this is always cool too it actually shows you um, the thumbnails and the definition or the information sorry about that and back to low list so that's pretty much it on the um, Titan media browser skin and I mean there you could really customize it to way the, the way you like it <coughs> sorry about <coughs> sorry about that and make sure you visit uh, Cody.tv and make sure you register and visit his thread about the Titan Media browser so you could um, catch up on what's new on it. And again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to add XBM Connect to all your social media.